Let's start the sickest round of 16 in the recent history of Warcraft. We have Lin versus Fortitude in the WGL March Pro Qualifier. Here is our bracket and you can see that this group is stacked. The winner will play the winner of Fly and Happy. And of course, like this lower bracket semi-final is also one of the sickest we've seen. We have Lin versus Fortitude. This is a rematch of WGL semi-finals in winter. There was a very, very one-sided affair. It was Lin taking a 3-0 and oh, and Fortitude had no chance. On not a single map, he got defeated super easily. Let's see what he learned in the past four months. All right, let's head into this. Both placing very well at the latest WGL, especially Lin with his thunderous victory. I was really so impressed at that tournament with Lin, like I've rarely been before. It was happy when he won, when he won WGL, Moon when he won, TH when he won. It really, is that just because of the tournament win why we remember it so vividly or is it actually the play that the players showed? I think it's actually the performance that they showed. Yeah. And that's oftentimes the cool thing about WGL. We don't always have the most even finals. They're oftentimes a little bit one-sided, but it's especially, in my opinion, impressive how good those players are playing. And they all normally always get rewarded. When you look like the best player in the world, normally you win the world championship. Last time that was Lin, but as he said, he hasn't been practicing that much. And you know what? in the bottom left. In Happy. the top right, I was getting to it. Yep, sorry. Romantic, fortitude, excuse me. He is playing f late altar. This is possibly going to be a freaking Fire Lord Tower Rush. Yeah, and this shows desperation, usually. If you have no idea what to do, then try a Hail Mary Fire Lord Tower push. Against a Farseer, though? Against a Farseer, though. Dude, wait a minute. Is this Farseer going to be able to finish the full camp? If Lin does it perfectly, which he should... Oh! There is a footman here. So the Farsia is pretty hurt. Oh, oh second lightning again. shield. I'm lagging a little. Sorry about that. No experience for the Farsia. That one was denied. Ooh. Fire Lord comes in for the harass. Oh, Still the lightning Farsia shield. has to TP oh away. Oh my god, this is a wonderful opening for Fortitude. Ah, uh, TP really... TP is gone, but whatever. The footy is dead. Okay, now come the towers. The, the Farseer, of course, is low HP. That's the problem here. Okay, here come, yeah, here come the towers. There's a Lumber Mill in the main coming, right? Yeah, there is. There is, but the one burrow is far away. Lin is tacking already. Lava Spawn should be able to get a lot of hits. Farseer back to 50%. One tower only. No burrow in range of that. That's so probably relatively easy to get up. The Fire Lord, man, is getting more and more experience. If the Farseer was able to get to two, this would be big. This, that's why it would have been enormous if this whole camp had gone to Lin, but it didn't. Okay, here comes the first split. <clears throat> and another Lava Spawn summoned. Peasants are almost all getting taken out though, but the Farseer, oh man! 27, my god. No sport. TP anymore. Footman is not canceling that healing. The first Arcane Tower is up, and then what are these wolves going to do? This Arcane Tower really doesn't, like, really count, hard counters the wolves. Mass repair, but three lava spawns, that's a lot, lot, lot of damage. That was Level two. Here. Comes in with the zap, but the burrow is down. Oh my god, and that delays the next grunt again. Did he, oh no, okay, he has two grunts now. He's not allowed to lose that Farsia now, he can't rebuild it then. He has the first guard tower. Good old human tower rush against Orc. We haven't seen this in forever because Lin was the one who mastered the defense. That's why TH and Infi, they're not playing this anymore. Okay, but it's really not that much pressure towards the buildings yet. The Voodoo Lounge probably is going to be falling sooner or later, but you can remake that one. Tier 2 is about to finish, and then Lin can go for Demolishers. Is he going to Q1 right away? Oh, of course, he has to wait for the Burrows again. Yeah, he supply stack. That was a big one. Three footmen, two grunts. Here comes the second barracks for Headhunters slash Demolishers. And no sec. Okay, can you go for a second hero now? No, still not. Must Re be the oh my god, right? dude, Spike Barricades are coming in. 
What? And it makes so much sense. Oh, yes! Five damage per attack plus 20%. This is the new spike barricades. Can he hold the altar, though? I think he really needs to, right? He's not going to add a second hero. And if he loses the far here, it's probably over anyways. No Shadow Hunter? It's very expensive, I, don't really think I guess. think he does much. You have, like, three of any spell you want, unless you have Serpent Wards, but, yeah. I don't think any second hero here could really do anything. I think it's all about getting these demolishers up. And the far here protecting them, I guess. Defend coming. Spike Barricade is about to be finished. And then he needs to shop exactly for Regent Scrolls. Fortitude playing this nicely so far. And Spike Barricades. There okay. we go. And there you can see the impact. It's not a laughing matter anymore. Yeah, especially it against does equipment. quite a bit of damage. Okay, the Demolisher comes up. It's really important to protect this one. But so many footies attacking it right away. Mass repair. This Demolisher is going to be falling. Question is, how expensive is it going to be for Fortitude? There's one footman already. He has no mana for Chain Lightning. Tower is not coming up either because the Fire Lord is putting in some damage. More pressure from Fortitude and the shop up now. I think the grunt positioning was a little bit off right there, right? They were just running around the stronghold, not really attacking. Oh, second Demolisher. All right, but still five footies alive. More and more mana for this Fire Lord. Yeah, Fire Lord's getting uh, quite some XP right now. Next peasant, uh, next peon down. Footman are storming into the base again. Is he diving for the Demolisher? Yeah. Wow. This time the Grunts are in position. This time they are putting in some return damage. And the Demolisher is very far in the back. Lava Spawn is going to get taken out rather quickly. Okay, this is quite and some losses. Level yeah, 3 Farseer with level 2 Chain Lightning against Footman is going to be really good. I mean, he's Next using Wolf Demolisher right comes out, needs to be microed right away, and it is. And now we have two Demolishers. Oh, do oh we? but that one's kind of stuck. Do we? Oh, a tiny little hole in the defense. He has to do something against the footmen now. They have you can to trap all the footies. The footmen are all gonna die. Uh, plus so a demolisher. But this is an expensive demolisher kill. But a grunt oh, is falling yeah. as well. And the fire lord, I mean, got oh, make it right to the trick. Ship. Got him. And that's level three. And the grunt survives miraculously. This demolisher is still here too. Another footman kill. Lin stabilizes. The pressure of the footman is off. Over Question extension is, does he go by fortitude? chain lightning to zap the peasants, or does he go level two wolves in case of footman dies? Level two wolves. I don't think sending them into the towers is very good. Nope. Okay, that was a waste. But the wolves are cheap, 75 mana only. On level three, you regen that fairly quickly. The barracks in the north is gone, so we're down to one. Second Demolisher is out. Fire Lord as well. Brought back from the tavern. So, here comes the second Demolisher. Repairing against one Demolisher is pretty easy. Against two, not that easy. <laughs> Mason boss. re-upgrade, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Oh, they could go for another Demolisher. Why is he not doing it? It's, like, really important. He has the resources. Okay, there we go. Is this enough towers to break this? What are the resources saying? He's super short on gold and lumber. Okay, footies come back in. This is where the wolves come into play. There we go, level two wolf summoned. Good positioning by Lin. The grunt, the demolisher, the farsi, the wolves, all perfectly positioned. Did we expect something else? But he might be in trouble now. Look at the peons, they're all super hurt. You need to Might take out this guard tower the furthest down yeah. at the bottom. Three demolishers now. I think this you can just right click it down. It's pretty much impossible to hold against this now. Putman all kinda healed. But he doesn't have that much time anymore. 
He's diving he's again. again. Trying to push the demolishers back. Peon's getting taken out by the Fire Lord. He's close to level 3. No wolves anymore. No grunts anymore. Oh, that was a triple kill on the Passons. And the tower will be falling soon as well. Level four Farce here. More mana. Trades it for one demolisher. Probably two. But it's costing all the footies. And these wolves, man. It's time to snack. Yeah, they are hungry. Woofies. Yum, yum, yum. Woofy, woofy, yum, yum, yum. But two demos taken out. However, another one is almost finished. Yeah, three is pretty much the, the maximum. If the Farseer gets to five, man, these Invis Wolves are going to be crazy. They can constantly cancel the region on the Fire Lord. This How good is massive. this base build also, by the way? There's yeah. a little gap between the main building and the burrows. They're all perfectly positioned, protecting everything. And yeah. behind the burrows, there's a little avenue for the Demolisher to run behind where you can trap footies. It's insane. The, the architect in Remo is satisfied. Absolutely. All right. Fire Lord is level three now. Level two lava spawn. No joking matter. You know what? I guess you should focus that with the uh, Boros spears. I know you make jokes about this, but incinerate in the uh, peon line would be way better than soul burn. Soul burn does nothing. I think he's just not spending any other yeah, any yeah, mana, yeah, any yeah, other spells, yeah, yeah. anyways. All demolishers taken out now, though. Yeah. This might be working. The stronghold is starting to drop very low. 16 supply for Lin. Farsi and he's level 5, I think. He's also very low on mana. Oh my god, is this becoming. Oh, a Zapper! He oh, just Zapper! killed it! And that's the GG by Lin. He couldn't hold it anymore. Nicely played by Fortitude, bringing in that extra damage and killing the Great Hall. It looked really good. The base build was really good, but an overwhelming Tower and Fire Lord mass getting oh. Fortitude the first map right here. Haven't seen that in forever. Me neither. And I wonder like, how surprised was Lin when he saw that. It's Fortitude, you always have to calculate that in. Um, last qualifiers, he played it against TH. When TH was playing Org. And failed <laughs> twice in a row. Yeah, interesting. Cool to see it once again thrown into the mix. But I hope it doesn't get meta again. Because there was a time when we saw this, I don't know, 60% of the games. Fortitude is not like defining the meta really he always had this yeah. but like farseer grunt opening this is supposed to be the hard counter to this build but of course it came a lot down to the opening where the farseer was so hurt was forced to run away forced to wait for heal selves grunt was hurt some creeps were stolen so this may only work on amazonia actually yeah yeah maybe there was a really good attack onto that lab Stealing half the camp, doing so much damage with the lightning shield. Fasia was pretty much down from minute one and a half on. Or two and a half, rather. Next map. It's going to be a way bigger one. It's going to be CH. Invite to, please. Oh. And Thank you. Quick update on Happy versus Fly, by the way. It's late game. It's the first map. Late game, tier three. Fly on two bases, so not looking too bad for Fly. Happy again, struggling versus Orc. It's incredible. Oh, yes, there's one weakness. But not in Europe, of course. But only against Asian Orcs. Yeah. Is, of course, playing on a worse ping. We have to keep that in mind. So if this is a tower rush now, on this map, that would be crazy. That would blow my mind. As an orc, you can still play fast here. Of course, you can get the camp relatively easy. The first one, and then you have an item and experience, and the rush is arriving so, so, so much later. Hmm. He's not going to do it. He's going to go for the good old 
normal alter build am what we're going to be seeing this came a lot down to the opening normally orcs on az always go for this lightning shield creep which you can punish and the rush is going to catch him completely off guard but on concealed farseer normal normally always instantly goes for the harass with zero creeping so the orc would be seeing that coming a mile away question here is not about the first heroes, we know what those are going to be, but is Lin going to skip the barracks or not? At WGL, he was doing a mix of both openings, sometimes skip barracks, sometimes not. The benefit, of course, being that the tech is faster with a skip barracks, but the grunts are coming out later. And this game is going to be the skip barracks indeed. Very fast tech for the orc. It's going to give him a nice tier 2 advantage moving towards the mid game. Yeah. And what does Fortitude do? We oh my god. He had the MK queued for one second, but then he cancelled. We know him as a player with a very long and heavy tier 1, with a lot of footmen, with a late tech. Against this early tech by Lin, is this working? If you have a much later tech, it can still be absolutely recoverable for the human, if you get the levels. If you get the level 3 and then use your 5 to 6, maybe... Seven footies even to pressure the TC early on tier two where you force him to abandon creeping. But if you do that, you have to find the levels. And look where the footies are going. This is looking a lot like classic fortitude, heavy creeping early on, heavy militia usage. He's gonna go for the lab camp first, which without grunts perhaps can't even be punished so hard. And yeah, this will be a big tech difference here that we're gonna be seeing soon. Classic Fortitude. This is becoming more and more standard though, as uh, Chimiko is playing in pretty much every game on CH and many other humans as well. Doesn't surprise me too much that Fortitude is doing it. Tech by Lin has Blade started, Barracks to follow it up, Second Burrow as well, and Thafasia rushes over. And this is a sweet revenge from game one, where it was a level two creep cap for Lin, and Fortitude arrived, disrupted it, and now let's see what Thafasia is able to do. If he could get last hits here, this would be outstanding. Very hard to do though, especially against Inner Fire. So that one goes to Fortitude, gets level 2 and abandons the camp. Militia not getting chased at all. Lin feels that it's more important to keep track of the AM. Nice double tap on the water element, did you see it? He was hitting with the Wolf and the Farseer basically at the same time, so yeah. the other water elemental couldn't deny. <laughs> it's always beautiful to see how everything is getting min-maxed here so hard on this top of top levels. We have a result, by the way. Fly Sports defeated Sports Happy Sports. on map number one. So the Emperor, again, struggling. Man, this could be a winner, uh, lower bracket semi-final of Happy versus Lin. This is so real. He got it! With the far steer, he got the last hit. And the water elemental. And something in the main. And suddenly he's 50 XP away from level two. Oh, wow. It wasn't a worker. So what yeah. was it? You got experience somewhere, though. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Crossy yeah. attacked by a lot of footmen. Doesn't have cells, but he's close to the main. And of course, there are fountains here. That spider crab last, it was insane. That actually changes so much. And there's another footman kill. Pretty sure he gets it. That's level two. One, Dude. Three and kills. this was how he was looking at WGL. Yeah. Like every other orc struggles against human. And Len, time after time, has these insane moves in the early. Every single game. Look at the wolf spread as well. He has so much vision on the map. Grunts here, wolves here, farseer here. And it's all about preventing leveling on the human side. Lin knows he has the much faster tech. If he manages to prevent level 3 AM, his mid game is going to be looking really good. He is a tier 2, getting the altar busy with the Torrent Chieftain, Beastery, Spirit Lodge. This seems to be his Kodo build. Is it necessary though? What is Fortitude doing? Blacksmith indicating Rifleman, of course. And I don't know if these Kodo if if this Kodo build is too good against the mass rifles. Yeah, I'm not so sold on it either, but this is Lin, so we'll see. And this is exactly how Lin was able to win at WGL, the championship. But back then, it wasn't the rifle meta yet. It was mostly breakers still. Yeah. 
Tally staff on the A. I'm here to get level three. And now it's time to go into the main. He's not going to get the lodge, though. He's not going to get the bestiary. Warmill or Boros are all that he can get. Warmill would prevent Kodos, of course. But I guess the bigger target is the Boro. Instant repair by Lin. Super fast. Archmage is not hitting at the moment because he's chased by a wolf and it's pretty hurt. Stomp against the footman. That prevents more damage. One. Oh, this is Chain Lightning here. now. And because he got the sick early, now he's level 2. And this is going to be a zap, right? Yep. Yeah, but he's losing the Burrow still. On what cost? Lin is supply stuck. Got out one Shaman and one Raider already though, so now he can Raider? make one more Boro and then go for Adept Training and Beastery. Why is he so, going Raiders? Because... Uh, yeah? Because of the rifles, I guess. I mean, against the rifles that are not too bad in low supply. If we go up to 50, 60, Raiders are awful. But if you can, in really scrappy engagement, and snare one rifle after the next and prevent the critical mass, could work out. Good usage of the wolves again. Wakes up the creeps at the fountain. No free healing here for Fortitude. Level 2 Torrent Chieftain unlocked. Burrow's about to be finished. You can, of course, queue all the upgrades. So, actually, this Burrow kill is not too bad. You need the Adept upgrade and the End Snare anyway, and yeah. you do it now. Like, it's all, it's all right. Yep, exactly. Still so gets stuff done macro wise. And now supply block lifts. We're gonna have more shaman coming. Question is, how many raiders is he gonna play? If he makes more than two, I'm expecting all out run by base race. It's becoming more of a theme in Warcraft, isn't it? In many matchups, actually. Wow, the TC's experience though. He only crept two small camps, and he's two and a half already. Get quite a few footmen, I guess. He's gonna get to four so quickly. And you know what they say about level four, Neil? It's only one level away from level five. <laughs> That's what they say, yeah? That's what they say. <laughs> level one Mountain King looks pathetic in comparison. Of course, it's gonna have some time, but Linus not gonna give him an easy I'll task. He's struggling to find him right now and has to be a little careful as Stormbolt counters uh, the fast here, the squishy fast here. Pretty heavily, but he knows it now. Easy to take off the wolves, but what's his answer? He knows, okay, my opponent's on the other side of the map. I'm having a fairly big advantage on my second hero, so this could be an expansion. Oh, sorry, just saw something. So, here comes the natural creep indeed. In many ways, this is very similar still to WGL playstyle. It's not the Kodos, but it's the TC leveling up quickly with the tech advantage. Expo coming up. And I think that's the one thing that has absolutely remained true in this matchup. Sooner or later, Orc needs expansion. AM, you're very far forward. Is he going to try the staff? Ooh, the damage. And there comes the end snare. No staff for you. Yeah, that's a... And two and a half disables now. With Purge being like a half disable, half slow. A player's forces are under staff doesn't work too well against that. But right now, this situation, why isn't 42 countering, man? He had the peasants there. Move them His back. His lumber is quite low, but he, you could just make two more peasants at one point, and then your lumber is going to be fine. I need some human to explain this to me someday. <laughs> it's not like we've never seen counter expos. We've seen it like two or three times. <laughs> like, it's ultra rare. And I've seen it work out as well. Well, most humans seem to agree that they rather want to push. But now, Lin is forcing the fight early with the beautiful stomp. Lightning shield follow-up. There comes a dispel from the priest. The next stomp is ready. And hits it. Oh. My. God. It's perfect. Lightning shield, chain lightning, thunder strikes. And this is looking very good for Lin. But the TC has got to be careful. Oh. He has no potion. Needs a TP or something to transfer it. Oh, walks it. Off and off to the fountain he goes. But what can you do without the TC? Grunts are struggling now. Fortitude strikes back with the hammer to the head of this grunt. It's falling. Uh, there's no second Stormwald and there's Ensnare. Lin disengaging at 40 supply. 
Is How there enough time for this expansion? Lin could run by into the main right now. He could realize that there is no TP on the human side anymore. But he's giving chase. This is definitely not enough to find the cancel. This Great Hall will finish. Thank you, Smooth Raving, for the 2 month reset. Oh, one Priest kill. Probably a second Priest kill, but there is another Storm Bolt. TC's gonna be real careful. He's got the t t TP given over already, very smart. But without Stomp to fear, this is pretty easy to micro against for the human. Against the clamp, we have the speed scroll coming in. Disengagement from Lin trying to get the heal scroll. Invul something. It is the heal scroll. Oh, the Farseer. Bad position for him. It's a big block. Here comes the Good purge to prevent the block. Nice. Thinking one step ahead. We have a water elemental at the expansion. Not much damage towards the Great Hall, but here come the militia and more reinforcements. 45 supply. Lin is licking his wounds and needs mana. Can he get these epicenter storms off once again? Should be easy level 4 here with the experience from the water elementals. On purge. to purge. 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 Saves the uh -huh. fourth purge. Does it with right click. That's level 4. Not easy to engage though with an invul without an invul on the TC. Speed scroll is cooling down on the Farseer. MK's mana is also low though. This is not too easy for Fortitude either. Great splits from the wolves. If he gets... Oh, the, sh the shop is up. He can't go for mana potions. He has 250. That makes the Mountain King a lot better. Kodo not even trying to eat something. And there's the mana potion. Clap, he clap, but countered by Storm. By the heal scroll as well. But that was the only heal scroll for Lin in this fight. Kodo moving forward, trying to get off a Munchie. TC almost has the mana. Three, two, one. Now has the Stomp. Is he going to go for it? Not on the MK. Still has to use it. Stormbolt is ready. TC in a bit of trouble, but so fast with that level 2 aura. He gets out of there. And so do the Grunts. So sick. But do oh, they? One Mountain taken King out. Gets one. 33 supply though. 42. He's got like nothing left. Only an MK in the shop. Can the MK carry this? Last mana was used for the clap. Can he buy another one? Maybe it's on cooldown and snare. Right click, potion of healing saves him for now. But the wolves constantly, constantly attacking, so the priest can't do anything. And this MK, if he falls, the game is over. The purge perhaps could be his end. The burrow almost gets him, and now the wolves. Is he? No. Sweet. No! He forgets about the MK, and the wolves eat him alive. Yeah. That is certainly the end of the coffin. GG. Even if the MK had survived, this push was over. Very strong game here by Lin. Comes back in this series. 1-1. One, one. Especially that early game. How crazy was that early game? Man? One crap lasted. Again, the, these tiny little moves that gives you such a hard power spike. Defense was good as well. Lost the burrow, but yeah, as we said, not the biggest impact. And then he took it from here. Good timing for the expansion. Raiders. I don't know if they did too much, but at some point were a nice addition as well. It's not like really revolutionary or super impactful, but it was okay. So we come to a uh, decider map three now. What's that going to be? We have a couple of other results, by the way. Law Lion killed Ice Orc with 2-0. And Colorful killed Shao Kai with 2 and 0. Oh. So they see themselves in the winner bracket finals of their groups. Yeah, those were probably the most predictable matches of today, along with Moon 15 Sway. Focus got his revenge against Soen for the B2W Invitational. And oh. with his 2 0, -oh, makes it to the oh. upper bracket as well. I forgot about that. Focus versus Moon, probably. But how good are the Raiders in controlling the Mountain King? Is that a reason to not give him these crazy clap positions? I don't, really, I don't think we saw very many end snares against the MK at all, did we? No. Could it's pretty be, good for be. if you combine it with Kodos. Like if you have two raiders, two Kodos, you'd ensnare rifles twice and devour them. That could work. Honestly, the raiders didn't make the biggest difference. He had a c couple of nice straggler pickoffs and kept the MK away when he was disengaging. 
But in the straight up fight, the Raiders really didn't do that much, in my opinion. All right, we're waiting for game three. No one is really in a room. Infi 1 0 over Sock. Is Infi playing human? Is he uh, actually sure. playing a human mirror? <laughs> and there we go. Last refuge. All right, all right. Do you have the stream up of uh, Fly versus Happy Game 2? Yep, What's seeing it right situation? now. Concealed Hill is the map. And uh, Fly is playing Farseer TC. Tier 2 style expansion. Hmm. Both at 50 at the moment. I'm not sure if Fly's Expo is up yet, but it looks pretty even currently. Damn. If Happy gets too old, that would be sick. And what we do we well, what do we do in the winner finals then? Do, do we go a potential romantic fly? <laughs> do we go happy Lynn? Do we go romantic happy? Romantic fly? It's gonna be real tough to make a decision. If there's a possibility for Happy Lin, we of course go Happy Lin. But if that's not the case, hmm, hard to hard to judge. They might meet in the lower bracket. That would also be kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Romantic and Lin. Uh, I mean, uh, Happy, Happy and Lin, yeah. the finalists of the last, last WGL, could be playing in the lower. All right. Lin is here. Go, 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 go. Romantic. Uh... Kind of playing like Hitman in these uh, lobbies, just spamming going. Not as excessive, but a little bit. So, game three. Who goes to the winner's final? And who is facing the April Open qualifier? Last place of the group always gets relegated, and whoever gets relegated here is certainly the biggest favorite in the April Open qualifier. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder how is Rom. God damn it, Fortitude gonna make his playstyle work here. The fast level 3 AM, and then dominating the map with that level. How are you gonna do that on LR? Very hard to pull off. We have a normal build by Fortitude. No tavern, Fire Lord, craziness, tower push. Fly 2 0. Wow. Happy in the lower bracket. Huh. Still has a chance there, of course. But okay, let's see what's happening in this game. If this is a Blade Master, I'm gonna be very surprised. <laughs> no, no. Watch here it is. AM first. Alrighty. No skip barracks this time around. Can you do so much with the Grunt early? I guess if you have Farseer and Grunt and harass right away, you might even be able to delay level two AM, right? So I like this opening. If you can prevent that level two, and with that the aura for a long time, that makes a big difference. If Lin wins here, by the way, it's gonna make our choice very easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, no, if Lin loses. If Fortitude wins. A player's force Don't we go with Happy anyways, because either it's either gonna be Lin versus Happy or Orc Mirror. Good point. So tech now, a little bit later than I'm concealed, but nonetheless, the Farseer moves over right away because, oh, two creeps for that at the same time, uh, a little bit, to go for the I Shadow Priest. The, yeah, you go, went for the Shadow Priest pull. Did it a little bit late, so the Shadow Priest took a bit of damage. This might be relevant. We'll see. Farseer starts off with a bit of creeping. Taking all the damage on the hero, I like that. Piercing doesn't do that much to hero armor. Oh, and replenishment. Yeah. That 
is wonderful. And yeah. snare on the footy. And Lin says, thank you, Trapper. Even oh, safe. Nice the wolf resummons them. No experience for the Archmage. Did he deny it? I'm not sure. He's one wolf away now from level two. A player's forces are under attack. So as far as the tech is concerned, we have about a minute difference, which is, I guess, kind of standard. Oh, that's it. Wait. Faster, you got it. Faster, you got it. That was a little sloppy by Fortitude. And Shouldn't denies the wolf as way. well, while the projectile was midair. Well done. T2 tech by Fortitude has started, but yeah, big difference. Also, like the Shadow Priest, costs a lot of resources, it delays your attack. And for Lin, this item, the Replenishing Potion, isn't the best he could have hoped for, as he has no shop, he has no selves, he has no clarities. And this item gives you both. Not the craziest healing, not the craziest mana rack. You know, a little bit for both and for free. The Farseer is getting level 2 before the AM. Yep. This never happens normally. <laughs> But throw your conventions out the windows, boys. This is Lin playing. Even with the Shadow Priest opening. That's insane. Yeah, usually you get a couple of more wolves with that, but not here. Shadow Priest now parked in the base. Oh, wait. where? Yeah, parked in the base. Essentially useless without mana. But I mean, he can't profit from a, from a Brilliance Aura, so whatever. And then has the proper read again. Finds the AM. Delays level 2 AM again. Just insane, dude. Yeah. It's just insane, this guy. Well, let's see if Fortitude has an answer on tier two. Lin arrives already. Spirit Lodge TC. So far, no uh, beastery. But he's also low on lumber, so maybe he's gonna add that later. Or just goes all out Grunt Shaman. Do you think Grand Shaman is too boring for Lin? He needs another unit to control, like Kodo <laughs> for Devour and Snare from a Raider, so he has to micro more. Does he make decisions on that? I could see him doing that, actually. Yeah. Playing a style that is hard to do, that he enjoys more. I could see that, yeah. But this time it's only going to be Grand Shaman. TC comes out. Also, how much money Len was able to save? The whole of tier one, he bought zero selves. Yeah. Only now with the TC did he do yeah. it. That's crazy. The replenishment helped out, of course, but it was mostly his impeccable it's play. Exactly, right? It wasn't really necessary. Like, of course, without the clarity, he's dead now, but then he plays a little different. Thank you, El Roca, for the two month resub. Best part of waking up. Glad to hear that. Dude, this is such a sad AM early game. <laughs> it's harassing now with level one. Level one. S six minutes in. It's a disaster. This is like a guy who has to repeat the first year of school twice. <laughs> Was there someone like that in Vismo? <laughs> Dude, let me tell you. <laughs> That's rough. First grade, nine years old. Hell yeah. But he's the strongest boy during recess. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Sanctum. Oh man, this is still not level. He's still 16 XP away and now he has to share experience with the Mountain King. Speaking of sharing experience, Lin is creeping up with the Farseer, which yeah. absolutely surprises me. Is that proper? Not really. Just giving time. 242 for that camp. He finds him now, but can't prevent level 2 any longer. It's only like 7 minutes. No way. No! He did. Did he get it? I didn't see. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, right? TC no experience is too low. It was freaking like crazy close, though. The reason the Farseer stayed around for so long was, by the way, to speed up the creeping of the natural to then go over to the Merc camp right away. And if this is the perfect level 3 lining up for the TC, I'm going to lose my mind again. <laughs> Scourge bone times. This is really oh, no, good. Oh, no, the Farseer. No. A town is under siege. Okay. What? Soaking up experience. Ah. So what the hell? 
One purge only. No more required. Purge bull trap on the other side as well, but not nearly as good. I guess also against this rifle style rather than oh wait double sanctum it's not rifle style yeah it is he has a blacksmith wait, early he has a blacksmith as well. I, I am confused neo <laughs> confusius yeah confusius i don't know thing. uh maybe he wanted to go rifles and then saw his progress and felt like okay i can't push in the next time and then let's rather go casters as there's also no no beastery so he doesn't have kodos so breakers are a thing against a high level tc i can see that we have a big mana potion on the Mountain King, by the way. If this game current, uh, turns around, then this item has a big influence on it. One of the wind. Ooh, he's stacking up these items. But if the Orc player is good at purging, then oftentimes this item can be pretty underwhelming. True. And then it's pretty I good. imagine there's nothing that Lin isn't good at. Oh, double, double, double up. Double, double, crucial time. Just a little bit too late for Lin, and there he is, backing off. Does he see the mass casters and does he go into... Oh, he's aggressive with the Scroll of the Beast. Against the big mana potion at double level three. And slow. Well, I guess there's not too many breakers. Here's the one of the wind purges immediately. Here's the stomp, but mostly against Militia. MK uses the big mana potion. Grunt's starting to drop quite low. Heal scroll perfectly timed. Massive healing from that one. TC lining up the next stomp. Doesn't have the best targets to go for instantly, I guess. Militia taken off to the side. MK in trouble if he gets focused now during the storm. Could be his end, but he has the time for the heal pot potion. Oh, the Berserker safe is insane! It's ridiculous how good he is. Goddamn lit. And another massive stomp in the oh, back. Oh, and the, the lightning, lightning shield. shield. Follow up. Everything is just dead for fortitude. Yep, was the right call to take this uh, fight with the scroll of the beast despite the big mana despite the level three he had it all wow what a freaking series you can make first game so caught easy. him off guard the first year the uh, final tower rush but beyond that just yeah these early games it was pretty smart by fortitude to bring like to do this tower push to just take this crazy early game away now a couple of losses. Is this one grunt the only unit that he lost? <laughs> he's at 47 supply and he's not rebuilding anything. Uh one hey, shaman. One shaman, okay. <sighs> Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, he's He's just amazing. He's just the greatest orc of all time. There's yeah, no I question. Think by now. Undoubtedly so. Vamp aura helped for sure, but not that much. Storms were really good, lightning shields really good, purges really quick. And yeah, this this early game, like six minutes, no level two. There's no chance for Fortitude to go into Lin's base and try this burrow push again. That delayed everything for Lin on map two. Legion Doomhorn, very good, but backstab, very not good. It's a DP out right away. One sword gonna die. That's level 4 for the TC, and that level 4 makes everything so fast, as long as no Sorcerer's Slow is applied. Does Fasio have level 2? What's level 2? Level 2 is Chain Lightning. Okay, switch it up this time. Against Breakers, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Of course, uh... Even goes for the late game dust against Invis. He has quad heal scroll now. <laughs> That's a lot of healing. That's a thousand gold heal scrolls. That's 600 healing. That's pretty much like a lot. Like pretty much a lot. <laughs> a lot of a grunt. <laughs> it is. And of course the expo is running and running and running and running. Plus we get the Kodos even ends. Wait, <laughs> he's going Kodo into Ensnare and Q to Wyvern as well. Now cancelled it. 
Just play all the units. Would love to find another Creepjack here somewhere, but Fortitude has retreated to the main a little. Running around without a TP at only 50 supply, this is scary for Fortitude. He is probably trying to expand up her left now. Oh, sneaky. With three peasants, so that might take some time. Lin so like far has no play. idea. Fortitude knows he's really far behind. He has to try something semi-desperate, I guess. Oh, this position is glorious! But the TC just runs through. He passes by the breakers into the back. No dispel against the speed scroll at the AM. Uh oh, he might be dead. Invul transferred, but that means no more invul for this Mountain King. TC has only one stomp left. And the Archmage is in the back line. I wonder if he can reach him. No, he can't. No mana potion fall in. So how much damage can he do at the front row? Breakers are starting to fall. Chain Lightning hits hard in the back. And yeah, there's still... Wait, uh, two heal scrolls. I thought, where, where are all the heal scrolls? But two left. Not the greatest fight for Lin. Witch Doctor's coming in now. On LR, you can place two sentries, one next to your opponent's natural, one next to their shop, and then you basically know everything. And Wyvern added as well for extra damage. 65 supply. He can't afford everything. Fortitude has vision, though, with the Spellbreaker in the stomach. Lin knew that the human army was moving out, knows that there's no TP, so now he can really abuse the main. Wolves Lightning Shield! Yep. It's like Reign of Chaos again. <laughs> How would you know? I've been told. Okay. And yeah, say Lightning Shield. I've heard also so many humans whining about Lightning Shield abuse, <laughs> and I, I was like, dude, how is this relevant? It never happens. Yeah, not anymore, but PTSD, you know. All peasants in the main wiped out. And shop is gone as well, so no breakers if this game goes any longer. But how? How? Oh, how? Oh, how? Indeed. Is there TP? Yeah, there is. So is trying his best to block uh, the orc army away and do some damage with his casters, but not really possible. Purge on the Mountain King wants to get these right clicks in. Uh, Stormbolt almost around, but there's a potion and an invul and a heal scroll. Mountain King has a mana potion though. Maybe surprise Stormbolt. Yeah, well, even if the TC dies, I don't think it really matters. It's a very good position right here for Fortitude. Yep, 4-4. Four, four. level up. Here's the first Wyvern. Lizard, actually. That's quite nice against the Shaman. It's really nice against the Shaman, but he sh shuts him... Oh, almost shuts him down. Here's the Wyvern damage. Two of them. Potion transferred. Real nice that he rebuilt the shop pretty much immediately. It's the last item on both of the human heroes. Going for the TC, the clap! Oh my god, Invo Potion on the TC saves him. Mountain King trying to run away thanks to the Unholy Aura. He's able to outspeed the Wyvern, but now the Archmage in trouble during the TP. Not enough damage and both survive. Fortitude still alive. Wait, can you still win this? Expo is up. The one place on the map where there's no vision for Lin. But TC's about to be five. Farseer's about to be five. It's also like a 20 supply lead. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is still very, very, very one-sided in favor of Lin, who has top control once again. But Fortitude defended uh, 20 supply plus push and four heal scrolls. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, absolutely. Really impressive. MK gets the invul, has to run the hell out of here now. And he does make it back to the main. Needs mana potions though. Archmage is yeah. super exposed. Two heal scrolls, one oh, in wall. Oh, and he was about to scout there yeah. on the high ground. Peon, He's peon, doing peon, it now. peon, yeah. Hello, friends. I would build a border right there. <laughs> I was Lin. Trying to get some gold. Let, Let me, me in! <laughs> <laughs> Here come the woofies! 
All right, fortitude, here we go. If you can hold this again, you're a god. Oh. MK gets revealed early with the dust. And purged. Blizzard level one doing something, but not too much. Stomping is really hard at that position. AoE is good, but yeah, that's level five. Level three on the stomp. You know what that means. Five seconds stun. Do it! Oh <laughs> my god! And the chain lightning follow up. And everything's pretty much dead. Clap is pretty good as well, but they're always heal scrolls. There's another stomp, but that's the double G's by Fortitude. Despite being down a map, Lin strikes back on CH and last refuge thanks to a dominant and insane early game with crazy last hits and pretty much perfect uh, map control. That was unbelievable. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty sick game. So, which one do we go for next? I think Happy, right? Yes, Happy Fortitude is our next happy match, fortitude. I think. Um, we have to enable a three-minute delay. So, we're going to take this offline for three minutes. And then we're back with Happy versus Fortitude. See you in a bit. <laughs> 